I probably had some way to win. I mean, I, I don't know exactly. It was always a little bit messy. I mean, it's already much better, but somewhere around here. Oh, wait, knight d5 is a huge blunder? What? Oh, I'm so, so bad at chess. He played. Oh, I'm so bad at chess. He is queen c3. Oh, I'm so bad at chess. All right. All right, round one, we're playing Carlson Ludwig. Okay, let's play g6 here. Go here. Let's go a6, b5, d6 next move. How much money did I make from leg one? Um, uh, I think the prize was 20, 24,000 euros. So now let's go here. I'm going to cast, of course. He takes interesting option. I'm going to go here. Bishop b7, fianchito the bishop because the double fianchito. I have knight c5 here. It's kind of an interesting move. If I take, take, play queen c8. I'm going to go for it. I think it's okay. I could have played h6 first too, but I think this is okay. h6 first is probably better. Okay, it was ninety two. Hmm. Oh, it's got ninety five. What am I doing? Okay, let's go here. I guess knight of knight c five. I can play bishop f8 here, maybe. Actually, that's a bad move by me. Hmm. Maybe not. I do have bishop a6 here next move. Obviously, take. I'm gonna go here. B5 will come back and go knight c5, maybe. Not really better here, per se, but I think I should be okay. Hard to play, actually. Very hard to play. Let's go here. I'll trade. I have the bishop pair, so I should be okay in an, an end game, but it's hard to get there. It was knight b2, which is kind of a strange move. Um, I'm going to go here and play c6 next move. That's actually a good move. This is a problem, actually. Like, maybe a big problem. I'm thinking too long. Um, let's go for it. Oh, he takes with the A-pawn, which I think is wrong. <clears throat> maybe wrong is... Okay, I'm just going to go A4, Rook C4, and Rook B4. I mean, I might have to make a draw here, which is not what I want. 
Shoot, I'm actually in trouble here. What am I doing? Yeah, I missed 95. Now, I mean, now I'm actually in real trouble here. Oh yeah, yeah. This is a terrible start for me. Okay, I'm gonna have to try to try to blitz him now. Oh jeez, very very poor. And now I just blundered again. What the heck is going on here? Okay, he takes with a pawn, which is sort of a step in the wrong direction. That was a slight mistake. He shouldn't have done that. I think Bishop C5, and he would have just won the game. You know, Mike, 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 uh, sorry, Mike something. Thank you. Wait, F4, Bishop C5? Wait a second. I, I, I think he's kind of misplayed this, but... Let's go here. Because I have Rook B5. It's a mistake too, though. I should have taken... Uh, why didn't I... What am I doing? I could have just traded. What am I doing? It goes B7. Trying to find some way to win this. But the problem is, I, I mean, he made a mistake. But it's... <sighs> he made a mistake, but I don't actually have a way to punish him for it. Bishop G7 is a big gamble move. Let's always play it safe. Of course, I'm also just worse here, which doesn't help. That's a bad move too. Do I have an E4 here or something? I mean, I'm, try I'm trying to create some play. Yeah, he blundered. Or did he? Wait. Yeah, he finally blundered. Jeez, this guy. I go here in King H5 and I win. Jeez. Tough, tough game. They had, Ed they had Edward Watermelon Hands for two months. They had Yusufan for the five tester MD. They had Abdul Rahim for the tier one. Terrible first game. Mm. Terrible first game, but we get the win. Do I suspect it's Magnus? No, of course it's not Magnus. <laughs> Have a good one. No, very bad first game. Yeah, if he played rookie five, he still was fine. But I mean, he was so long time that he just assumed he's getting mated. But he actually covers the squares so he can take. And check, he just takes and he's completely fine here. Yeah, this is very tricky. Is Ludwig Ogren? No, it's not Lud Ludwig Ogren. Good one, you guys. Good one. All right, let's see. What else do we have? We have a bunch of games still going, obviously. Let's watch this game. White has pawn on the seventh. Oh, there's queen a6. Queen c3. Check, 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 check. Should be still a draw. Yeah, this will be a draw. I mean, yeah, game ends in a draw. What a game, wow. Crazy game. Let's see, what else do we have? They got a Luca for the 12 months. They got a Gargamel. I think a Syndicate as a pro for the seven. Thank you so much, appreciate it. Thank you. Rook D7, Rook D4, probably. Okay, game ends in a drop. All right. Okay, so round two coming up, I think. I think that's the end of round one. Am I relieved that Min Lei isn't playing this title Tuesday? <laughs> Min Lei? I mean, 
Yeah, Vita said my game was a draw. Uh, it should have been a draw. Yeah, it should have been a draw. My opponent misplayed it. Yeah. No, Minlay, no. But I mean, obviously, I'm sure Minlay will be playing Title Tuesday. Although Minlay, he's on Vietnamese time. So I would actually expect him to be playing right now. I'm kind of surprised he's not playing this early one. Yeah, you actually would expect... Actually, it's kind of weird that Minlay isn't playing, isn't it? Oh. This is not Dingler on either. But yeah, it's it's kind of weird that uh that he's not playing cuz like the late one is always way too late is way too late. Ah, he's playing in a tournament. Okay, that that makes some sense, yeah. Takes with a knight, interesting. Now, I do have e4 here, which I'm just going to play. Oh, does he have bishop b4 or something? I guess I have knight bd2. I obviously have e5 here. I mean, this is kind of a weird position. I'm going to go here on knight c3. Go here, and I'm gonna castle maybe. Oh, I also had bishop d3 with e5, which maybe was stronger. I think I'm gonna actually get fancy here. I'm gonna castle queenside, which probably is very wrong, but it looks exciting. Like maybe c5, d5, take six, knight d5, castles even looks very exciting. Okay, you know what? We're we're playing our first title Tuesday of the day. Let's 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 get fancy schmancy and have some fun. Okay, it's gonna take, and I'm gonna castle long. I mean, again, I have an open. I have, I have open diagonals. Basically, is the argument. Plays ninety six, which looks like a good move. But I think I still go a three and castle anyway. I'm not really concerned. Like, I'm still going to castle. I'm going to argue that long term. Okay, plays that. I guess the idea is knight before. I guess I'll go bishop c four to cut him off at the pass. Because the problem is now, since he's not taking the gambit, I actually can now castle short too. I think I am going to castle short. I'm going to play rook d1, guard the pawn, threaten d6. He's going to have to blockade now. And I'm going to castle. And I mean, this looks quite scary for black suddenly. I feel like he did something wrong here. Because d6 is a huge threat now. I mean, I guess he also has 98 d6 as well. Or did I blunder? Oh, I blundered b5. Shoot. I missed. I should have just castled and ignored all this nonsense. Now it's actually not. Uh, now I have to go here. Because before I go 94. Now it gets very messy. This isn't what I want. Because I still haven't castled yet. Uh, I should have just castled first and then played rook d1 if he took. Very poor. Thank you to Jaha for the 18 months. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you to Jaha. He takes. Wow. Okay. Now, first of all, I can trade. Wait a second. And also castle here. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. This looks like a mistake. Wait a second. H7, king, h8, castles. Knight, wait, knight d5. Okay, I guess I'm just going to castle. Keep it simple here. I don't want to waste too much time thinking. <sighs> yeah, no moves, by the way, chat. No moves. No moves. Now, if he moves the knight like he captures my juicer, I just take h7 with check, and then I take his queen. So that's what I'm banking on here. I don't know if this is actually great, though. But, I mean, he's got... There are a lot of problems here for black, too, at the same time. Like, it, the, the bishops, the queen, the rook, I mean, everything is aiming right at his king. He's also got one minute, so it becomes very hard to play this position now for black. And also, I mean, like, even the pawn on b5 is hanging, so I, I assume I'm doing very, very well here. He plays queen b6. So, okay, so obviously, well, not obviously, but I assume I take. Just takes, I just take, and then I take, and I win. Of course I take. This looks kind of sus, put it mildly. This feels very sus. I mean, bishop f5 is a move. Bishop, I mean, bishop e4 looks like a good move, too. It looks like a, just a nice, clean wooden shield. And I also cut off his threats on the diagonal. Is knight f6, maybe? Hmm, but then I... Tr oh, okay. Starting to get a little bit shaky. Oh, do I have queen d... Oh, queen d2 is knight f6. I want to try to sauce him with some queen h6 thingy. But whatever, let's just play traditional. Now, now it's time to just go for the kill. 
because now this is weak. I've got this. All, all my pieces are really, really well coordinated here. Now I have bishop h7. I'm kind of amazed he found king g8 actually, because I thought that was a pretty hard move to play. I can actually sat. Wait, I can actually take take check. That's a pawn. Do I have something better though? Bishop h7, king h8, queen f5. I guess I don't. Takes is probably the safe way to get an edge into an end game. I think it's five bishop. D5. Yeah, let's go for the safe approach. I don't know. I mean, he's low on time, so I don't. I don't love the safe approach, but I get a check and I, I win back the material because I have this check. I think I have rook d5, right? Yeah, yeah, I do. Although, actually, the more I look at this, the less happy I am with any of this. I guess I have queen h5 check too, though. Okay, but now I have check. G6, I go here. He has to go back, so I trade. Now I trade, and now I take, and okay. Clean, clean, and I'm up two pawns, and now we just win the game. Now it's just a matter of playing simple chess, getting rid of the weaknesses on the queen side. I'm up two, right? Yeah, I'm up two pawns. Even if he wins the eight pawn here, he's just losing this end game, so. Now I have three pawns, pretty smooth. He'll probably sack on a4 at some point, just to try and cheese me. Actually, why did I do that? I'll just stall him out. Okay, I guess f4 is the easiest way to win here. Go here now. I have g6 and rook h8 around the back with the checkmate. There's no stalemate either, very important because you can always push the pawn. Rook d1 would be a good attempt at a cheese, hoping for rook d8, but he's not going to do it. He's just going to flag. Um, so we get the second one two up, two down. Very, very good. Let's keep watching some other games. All right, let's watch the fish, the big fish. The fish is. Should be winning. I mean, he's up 10 seconds, so you expect him to win this game. But, I mean, it's not. It's The funny thing is, while this is better for it's actually, I think, with perfect play as a draw. This is very similar to a game I had against... Um, he should go A5. He should go A5 at some point. By the way, this game is another example of why a queen is so much better than two rooks. Because even though even though he's going to win this game, it's the time situation. In a classical game, if Big Fish had this position with white against someone like Fabiano, he would not win. This would be a draw. Uh, queen d2. Takes. Uh, but now there's rook a2. Yeah, now rook a4, and now it goes on. But even this endgame is still a draw. I had something very similar to this against Fabiano in, um, in uh, St. Louis in the Sinkfield Cup some years back. And it's crazy because you think you have two rooks against the queen, should be winning. But with perfect play, this is actually a draw. Check, queen e5, queen d1, maybe queen h, queen h1, check, check. Oh, by the way, this is Russia versus Ukraine, by the way. So you know who we're rooting for in this game, obviously. Let's go, let's go. He's defending very well. He's defending against this. The, he's defending extremely well. And now time is actually evened out here too. Come on, let's go, man. Let's go. Check. Queen h1. Oh, look at that. Big shout out. Ukraine defends. They, they defend. Well done by Ukraine. Good job. Good job. Oh, wait. Next game. Oh, that was the last game. So my, ne my next game is already starting right now. Thank you to Aiden for the three months AP mark. Thank you for Johnny Daff for the seven. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Invasion denied, yeah. <laughs> okay, he plays e4. 
I guess I'm gonna still gamble. I'm still gonna gamble and just play random nonsense. I don't feel like it's time to be solid. It's 11 rounds. Although there are only 400 players, so actually if I draw some games early, it's not the end of the world. But I figure, you know what? Might as well try to play random dubious, dubious openings. I guess I'll just go here in Knight C6. Guys, I'm not gonna talk politics, but I'll make 10 political jokes every stream. Play e5 and bishop f3. I don't actually know if this is great for me, but it's reasonable. Let's go d5, and I guess I take. I think it's a Balbus gaming. I'm going to take and go knight d4. I don't know if this is good or not. I mean, come on, you guys. I, I mean, I really don't want to talk politics, but like, <laughs> yeah, when I see someone say Putin is right, like, that. Yes, okay, you want to talk about technicalities going back to the Warsaw Pact and everything? I mean, that's one thing, but the world has changed. We don't live we don't live in that we don't live in the world that we lived in uh 30 years ago. I'm gonna take and play bishop h6 here. I don't know if it's right, but it's it's interesting. Play h5. Maybe h5 is wrong. I don't know if it's right, but it's reasonable, maybe. Superman. Public doesn't have enough info. I mean, like I said, I mean, who? Again, who knows? Who knows? But, uh, but if you watched that speech last night, I mean, like, definitely a little bit, little bit, little bit odd. It's, if H five is wrong, I don't want to be right. The, the thing is, H five actually, based on what has happened, makes a lot of sense because I stopped G four. Need to separate for seventeen months. Talking politics while playing Title Tuesday LMAO. Yes, exactly. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Um, now, the thing is, he does have some Knight, knight A4, which could be annoying. B5 is a little bit risky because I, I create a weakness on C6. I don't really want to do that. Queen D7 is interesting. I have to find it. I have to find a way to stop his attack attacking ideas, but not giving up too much in return. I can go Rook F8 and maybe Knight D7. Knight d7, knight a4 doesn't look very... Oh, actually, I have queen d8 and b5. That's why knight d7 is the right move. Because if knight a4, I can go queen d8, and I cut off both knight b6, and I cut off rook c7. That's why knight d7 is the right move. Thank you to Pedro call for the 15. Focus is the win number three. Oh, I'm, I'm totally focused. But yeah, actually, I see, I see the mark is completely cliffing, so probably it's related, right? I can go B5. I actually don't like B3. I'm, I'm actually going to give him G4 if he wants it here. Because, I mean, he can try G4, but he's also opening up the king side a little bit. I'm not so sure this is what you want. Okay, so he he actually doesn't. He, he, he doesn't want any of that jam. So now I think what I should do is I can play F5. I think I should play F5 for starters to open this up. He's going to go Rook C1, and then I'm going to go B5 to hit the knight. Kick that knight out of town. I'm going to tell the knight to go bye, 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 bye takes interesting okay now that i do not expect i have to admit maybe it's a good move maybe it's not a good move actually i don't really i don't know if f5 was right because he has some knight c3 nonsense here and actually i feel like i might have done something kind of wrong here okay let's think let's think so his idea is rook c7 so wait so if i play b5 here the knight is to go to c3 and then i have to find some in between way to play this I think I have to go here it's like the only move I think or else I'm in a lot of trouble now I go queen b6 I guess this isn't the dream but I should still be okay because rook c7 I just take problem is without this square like if we had pawns on f7 e4 he knight c3 isn't as good so maybe f5 is a little bit premature by I me mean, maybe I should play b5 right away Thank you to Vedsing for the Prime. Thank you so much to Vedsing. Appreciate it. Now, I don't like my position, but I think I'm still somewhat okay here. It was Queenie 2, which I actually don't think is a great move. Maybe it's actually, it's probably okay, but it doesn't feel like the right move somehow. Faint 94 takes. See, 7. See, 7 is a problem, apparently. Rookie 3 takes. How do I do this? Knight C5 is a move. I think knight f6 might be the only move. 
don't like it, but I think I have to play it. Because knight c5, he just goes b4. And I think I just have to play this position kind of marginally worse, probably. If g4, I always have rook f4 or trade rook f4. Yeah, this is not this is not great by any stretch of the imagination for me. But it's still getting a little bit... Con I'm going to actually pre-move this because it's, it's a safe pre-move. And he could play g4. He does. Okay, so let's go here. Go knight h5. I'm going to go rook, rook f8. Because now I have queen d4. Like, this is actually what I thought might happen. I'm probably worse here, but it's getting a little bit messy. Because if I get queen d4, the knight's under attack. I have rook f2. I mean, now I have rook f2. This is kind of... I guess I go here. I don't know if h8 or g8, what the difference is. Oh, if I go to g8, he doesn't have rook c8. I'm a moron. Wait, what? What's... Wait, doesn't rook f2 just win here? I g8 also stopped knight f7. I'm such a moron. I'm still going to win the game, but I, I'm actually a moron. I should have gone to G8. I mean, I guess he has Knight F7, but I just take the piece. You get a chess man for the gift of sub. Appreciate it. Thank you so much, chess man. Yeah, he does check. I mean, I assume I, I take and I take. Yay! We got the dub. Three up, three down. Three out. Um, Yeah. Okay, three out of three, pretty good. Let's watch Bogdan Dayak. He is doing pretty, is he doing well or not actually? He's actually not doing great because this knight on e5 is a nice little uh, bastion here. I think if black gets the king to g8, he's fine here. Like king g8 and rook, d, rook c6. Rook c6, of course. Rook d8 blunders c5, so rook c6 seal. Ah, uh, he has b5, so king g8, b5 takes, oh no, c5, knight f7. Take Queen G5. King G7. Queen C5? Oh! Queen C5 was check. Oh, what was that? Wait, but the show goes on. Now there's Queen B6. Queen B6? No, I missed he missed the boat. Take on B6, you gotta take. B6. Okay, he's just he's just out of time now. King G5. King H6. King F2. King F2. King F2. Oh my gosh, King F2 is winning. Oh my gosh, King F2 is just winning. King F2 is game over. You just checkmate on G1. Oh, so bad. Grishuk, by the way, on his way to a win here in this other game. I think a Mr. Blister for the Prime. Thank you so much to Mr. Blister. Appreciate it. Oh, man. So bad. Just so, so bad. Just so bad. So bad. Just so bad. Oh, we play Jobava. The good old Badur Jobava. Play Knight of Three. Again, it's a very low field, though. Like, er, is it? Wait, how many people? Wait, a lot of people have three points. Wait, that's a lot of people on three out of three. Huh. 430 and we have that many people on a perfect score. Kind of surprising. I'm going to go B3 here. Thank you, Nicholas Sprain, for the five months. Very surprising, actually. I guess I'll go here in 92 and Bishop B2. Thank you to Connor. Thank you to Cobra 4. Because normally when we have 430 players with such a light field. Okay, plays A4. That's an interesting choice. I mean, C4 is a move here. I'm going to play it. I don't know if it's good, but it, it looks interesting. I really don't know what the structure is, so I might as well try it. By the way, this is someone... I'm surprised, actually, speaking of people who play a lot online, I am surprised that Jobava has not been... In, was never invited to any of the Meltwater tournaments, actually. Very surprised. Thank you, thank you Minuto Namek, for the tier 1. Because he seems like... A, he seems like one of those players where it would make a lot of sense. To invite him because he's he's creative, he's wild. You never know what you, what to expect from him. So I'm actually kind of surprised that he's not um that he was hasn't been invited to any of those events. Of course, I go here. I'm gonna go Bishop C3 next move. He's better than Alexandra. Well, yeah, but yeah, I mean, I'm just I'm surprised because when I think when I think about people who could have been invited, he seems like a prime candidate. Honestly, he he seems like one of the best possible candidates to invite. Um, if you're going to invite someone who's like totally a wild card. 
going to play h3 just to stop his g5 g4 nonsense that I totally know is coming if I don't do it. So let's go here. Trade off the dark square bishops. Now he's got just a weak pawn. It doesn't mean this is great or anything, but I... My assumption is that I'm better here, although I honestly am not. The more I look at this, the more unconvinced I am about this. So I'm going to go a5, offer the trade. Maybe bishop a... Actually, you know what? Bishop a3 is a mistake. I should have gone bishop c3 and a5 because I have more space, so I shouldn't be trading off pieces here. That was a mistake by me. Definitely a mistake. Oh, and I also... Rook a b3, maybe? Anyway. All right. I guess I'm going to go c5 here, lock the queen side a little bit. He's got some king side attack, maybe. But I still don't really buy it yet. So it goes e5, which makes a lot of sense. He is, how do I trade off? That's really the key. I have knight d2. I'm going to play knight fd2, maybe. Trade. I think it's cheap logic for the prime. I want to see Gary in Meltwater. Gary chess, yeah. Also, I just realized, why didn't I just trade on e5 initially? Wait, now I can trade and play like some a6 mate. Wait a sec. Wait, I feel like I have something here. Here. So I have f4. That's my threat. I also have takes and Wait, did I just... I think I just blundered actually. Not... Actually, maybe not really because I still have rook b7 here. It was 96. That was actually the move I expected. So I guess I go here. Might be a mistake too, though. Okay, so he takes, which actually I think is wrong. Because now I can consolidate my chain. It's queen c7. I can play queen b2. I can also go rook b3. I think this is right. Just target the pawn with maximum firepower. I can even do the legendary triple stack. He goes knight f8. I can play a6, which is kind of interesting. It's it's a little bit risky, but I'm going to do it because I can play rook b6 and queen a4. I don't know if it's good, but it looks it looks dangerously aggressive, so I'm going to do it. I'm going to go queen a4 next move. He takes. Oh, I just blundered. Oh, yeah, yeah. I just fudged it. I have to take. I forgot about. The, oh, but wait, but I do have this maybe. Yeah, I do have this. Completely fudge this. But I do have queen c5, maybe knight d3. Do I go queen a5 or not is the question. Queen a5. I guess I have to try. Because the only try is knight d3, knight c5. Otherwise, I'm just lost. The queen d8 I take and then... Still very tricky, maybe. It was queen e8. I have to get somehow knight c5. And so I guess I go... Wait, but he's not threatening anything. Wait a second. So there's no, no time to panic. Rook b3. Or knight c5. E7. E1. I have to come with something here. I'm too low on time. Somehow I have to find a trick. B3. No, if I go there, there, rook B8. I think I'm just going to move my rook. I'm going to play a very quiet move just to ignore everything. Now, I think I take. Because queen D8, now I have knight C6. Like, or no, I'm, I actually just blundered again. Now I just lose, yeah. Yeah, he's got this, and now I'm probably just lost. Played a good game, though, to be fair. I made the one blunder, and he, he, played, he played well after that blunder. There's not much I can really do about it. All right, he's also got queen b6, which I missed, too. But I play on, and you, you hope for some kind of miracle here. Oh, such a poor blunder by me. Yeah, 
Yeah, I blunder this too. Oh, very frustrating. This is disappointing, not gonna lie. Ah, uh, now I blundered that too. Uh, very, very frustrating to throw this game. Ah, uh, I threw this game. That's frustrating. I just missed queen b8. Let me see if I had something better. Just wanna see if I had something here. Oh, I, I'm still better if I actually take. Uh, I didn't trust my instinct. If I take and I play 95, I'm, I'm still okay. I didn't trust my instinct. I thought that I was just losing. Okay, that's very poor by me. This whole thing was stupid because also back here, even in this position, it's probably completely fine if I play another order. Like even 95 here on the queen c3, but the order I played was just bad. Problem is after this, I just thought I blundered and it's not actually a blunder, which is weird. Yeah, now it's just lost after queen a5. I have to take and... A5, 97, 95. Yeah, why didn't I just trust my instinct? Because I was actually very close to just taking it. I'm like, wait a second. No, it's probably losing. So I have to double clutch and do something else. Yeah. No, I mean, I, I did throw that game. It's not not great. But I think it's already just lost here, right? Knight B3, Queen E4. Yeah, it's just lost. Well, oh, this is frustrating. Because this one I shouldn't have lost. This is actually just frustrating. Oh, and Queen B2 here is apparently very good for me too. Trying to get too fancy with a6 rather than playing queen b2 which also I, i'm pretty sure I, I when i if i go play it back i miss it as well no more 500 no luckily there aren't many players so of course uh of course i have a chance joe baba dancing <laughs> i don't know if he is or if you're trolling i mean it, it happens obviously but when it's counted i mean i have beaten him so you're not going to win them all but if you win the ones that really count then that always will take precedence it's like for example if i look at i'll, I'll give you a good example if i look at the games against love that i've played the game that I won against Lev in um the game that I won against Lev in uh in Berlin or the match in Berlin, I, I've lost a lot of bad games to him in Sinkfield Cups, but that one win in Berlin means a whole lot more, honestly. So yeah. Yeah, but I mean I just blundered. I just blund well, I didn't blunder, but then I, I double clutched. After Queen B8, I thought I didn't think I was actually okay. And I was actually completely fine. I just like I thought I was just lost, so I tried something. I thought that I had to get the knight to C5, and it's just a flawed concept. Yeah, but he did play it well, though. After that, he did play well, to be fair. I mean, there just wasn't anything I had. Yeah, there just, there just wasn't anything after that. So it's life. Um, Just say he played well, well played. Why be salty? I did say he played well. He found, he found the right moves after I blundered. That's what happens. All right. Play the King's Gambit? Yes, play the King's Gambit. Yeah, I'm going to play... Uh, well, you know, since Ari Antari is here, one of his good friends is from the Netherlands. He's a Dutch player. Um... He got his account hacked, so we're gonna try to play in honor of uh, of of of, uh, of Arian's good friend, the person that he seconded and taught us still recently on each gear. So we'll play the Dutch opening. Knight c3. Okay, interesting. Now I know Queen b6 is a move. Actually, the funny thing is, I think Ben and I, Benjamin Feingold, we played like as kind of a sort of a blindfold training match before before I think Amber in 2011, and I think I actually had this exact position against Ben, which is pretty funny. So I'm gonna go d5 here. Although actually, wait, he didn't put the knight on f3, so it's a little bit iffy. This might be a little bit putrid. I'm not sure. This could be bad, actually. Um, I'm gonna go bishop b4. Yeah. This doesn't feel quite. Oh, maybe I was supposed to play h6 first, actually. G4. I can obviously trade. Um, I'm gonna go here. I might end up having to play as like a bond cloud or something. He does have a tickle check here, which could be slightly problematic. Yeah, I have three out of four. Play a million different openings to confuse the opponents. Yeah, I mean, of course. But I'm just saying, it's something that was not on my mind at all. Um, it was not It was not on my mind at all uh, just a couple weeks ago. But now it is definitely something on my mind. Uh, that, that's, all, that's all I'm saying. I have an absolutely horrendous position here, by the way. I guess I'll go here, maybe knight e4, bishop e7. I really don't like my position, though. If I can get castle, I'm probably okay. How old was I when I reached, reached Levy's current ELO? I think it was about 12, 13. That's when I had a big, big, uh, big jump, though. That's when I went to, around the time I went to Hungary, when I was like 23, 50-ish. Uh, played a bunch of Norm tournaments, and um, I think I improved a lot during that, that period of time. Now, I don't like Knight F3, because now I have Knight E4. And I think I'm getting development, maybe, maybe not. Maybe I'm actually just getting sauced here. 
Maybe 94 is wrong. Actually, I think it's just wrong. Although maybe I can take and play H6 or something. This is pretty gross though, to be quite frank. I think I'm gonna have to sack material here. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna have to sack. I'm gonna have to go H6, G5 and and I'm gonna have to hope for something here. This, we're, this is gonna require some hopium. But actually he's getting his bishop trapped. So it's gonna get, I'm gonna get some kind of weird play here at least. Cause I have G5. This is the, this is what I'm banking on. Like bishop f4, g5, bishop g3, f4 or something. And I don't know if it's great or anything, but it's it's maybe something. Maybe. Oh no, he's got bishop. Oh, wait, no, bishop e3, I have f4. Ah, wait, I still have tricks. I still have f4. Takes, 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 takes. Knight f6 check, king d8, king c7, but I probably lose there. I have to, d5 is a huge threat, so I have to make a move to start with. Let me think about what my moves are. Queen b4 is one way to try and trade off. Knight e7 is, oh no, knight e7 is d5, so I can't, so I can go queen a6, a3. I can also maybe sack and play bishop e6 or something. I think this is the right move though. I'm gonna go for, I'm gonna go for a checkmate. And of a3, I think I play bishop e6 and then bishop, uh, bishop a3 maybe? Questionable, but I'm, I'm gonna try to maybe go for some kind of weird sack here after a3. He said he was hungry, not hungry. Okay, so I'm gonna go here. I'm definitely sacking on a3 now. So it's getting, I, if I get castled, I'm actually completely fine here, I think. Okay, well, who cares? When in doubt, play like Michael. We're gonna try to play as like a Michael Tal. This might be bad, but when in doubt, try to play like Michael Tal. Um, I mean, he has d5, but I can still take, I mean, this is very messy. I'm gonna pre, I, I think if I take his queen c3, so I, oh, I place queen c3 right here. I mean, I guess I just go, do I go to e7 or f8 is also in second question here. I go to e7, d5, bishop, eh. Okay, I'm up to, I'm just gonna go to f8. I don't know if it's right or wrong, but I'm just gonna trust my instincts. e7 maybe was better, cause, eh, well, we'll see. Okay, now I have 97, 95. I also have knight of 6, 95. I think this is actually kind of scary for white here. Like, maybe very scary. Knight of 95 is a huge threat. Also, if he plays d5, I can castle. Oh, yes. Yeah, so let's castle, because now he gets made. Ooh, this is wild, actually. This is really wild suddenly. I don't even know how he's supposed to survive. Okay, but now I, I mean, I take, I mean, now he's getting sauced every which way. Wait, I have queen eight, wait, wait a second. I have queen a one, rook d5, bishop d4, queen h1, knight of eight. Still a game. Bishop d4, queen a4, knight of eight, it's no good. Oh, but my bishop's still under attack, I just realized. Oh, his bishop's also guarded, shoot. Go here. Now his knights, everything is so weird here. Everything's like hanging every which way. Now I lose this because I just take. Okay, now I'm definitely much better here. Oh, I can also just check. That was actually a fun game. That was a fun game. Um, I wonder how lost it was. Let me look at the lines. How lost was this? I played bishop f8. I mean, probably here there's some def... You no, know, still it says this is good. Oh, he just goes king b1. Takes. And yes, because because we're we're looking at chess with a computer, a computer can just play knight g6 very calmly, ignoring rook d1, queen a2, rook a5, just ignoring everything and winning the game. Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay. That's that's a bit much to expect. And then yeah, now it's just lost. Okay. That was so chaotic. Well, I mean, when in doubt, try to play like Michael Tal. Uh, anyway, we got the win. Four out of five. Not a good game, but I'll take it. Obviously, let's keep going.
is it a bad thing i beat 900 1900 consistently my rating is 1300 um it means you're underrated or um you might be you might be using the stock of the stock of the fish all right okay let's go knight f3 here Am I gonna play the late TT? Yes, of course I will. Yeah, we're playing Title Tuesday, and then I'll probably do a bunch of in-between content, the speed run, other stuff, and then we will, of course, play the second, second, uh, second speed run as well. Yeah, we will be. Okay. Um, I guess I'll play B three here. Okay. So my my man Vasif appears to have done a lot of preparation for this game. He's playing very salt. Uh, I want to take the knight. Take. Let's go here. Ninety two. A three. I guess. Now he has e6 or bishop f5. Both moves are playable here. Goes bishop f5. Interesting choice. Um, I'm gonna play knight c3 and bishop e2 and castles. Both lines are playable. I can put the knight on d2 also, but I think I'm gonna angle for knight a4 for for some reason. That's gonna be my idea. I mean, it's a question of if I go d2, I can go to. Whoa, he's he's getting very bold very early. Um, what is this threat? Is this threat actually knight g4? I, I'm not buying it. He's getting very aggressive very early. Uh, now, knight d2, knight f3. I mean, I can go f3, d4, but I, I want to go for a4 this time, which probably isn't right, actually. He goes bishop c7, another weird move. I guess I'll go here to stop him. He's, he's, trying, he's trying to line up the battery. But he also has problems now because he can't castle the king, so I don't know. Is he going to play g5 or e5, or what's he actually doing? He's thinking for a long time here. I do have to be very careful how I play this. Okay, I mean, I'm just going to take. I'm going to go rook c1. He's going to go queen c7. I'm going to go f4. I'm going to go bishop a7. I'm going to go, like, rook f3, I guess. I mean, the thing is that, like, he can't castle. So, like, he's very he's very much committed here to, to some kind of all-in attack. But I don't... I mean, he can castle, I guess. It looks very weird. Actually, he can't because he hangs a6. Bishop e4. Actually, I did see that, but... Don't tell me I just blundered, though. Okay, this is going to get wild. Okay, I go here, I take the pawn. I take, I go here. Okay, again, I'm playing this game like a Michael Tal. This is going to be a wild game, too. Suddenly, suddenly I've decided my name is Michael Tal. Very wild. I think it's Scottimus for seven months. Thank you so much, Scottimus. Appreciate it. Yeah, this is another very game in, in the spirit of Michael Tal. I should make my floor background a green screen a picture of the setup. No, I mean I, I like my, I like my setup and floor. We're gonna have it's gonna be it's gonna look really snazzy once I go back. I don't know what's going on. I assume I'm losing here, but I, I honestly don't know. Question is where do I want to put my queen? Because he plays rook d8, which is probably a good move. Although he does give me ideas to play that queen e1 here. Like I don't have to put the queen on c1 now. I think I'm gonna go here. I think I'm actually gonna take with the bishop. I don't think I'm going to take with a queen now, based on the way he played this. Oh, did I... Oh, he's got this. Okay, but that's just a tickle. It's not actually an attack. I'm, will I'm willing to do this. Actually, I don't like bishop d2 at all by him. Because now I think my queen on f2 is very, very well placed for, for all kinds of attacks. It's still the double op combo. D6, okay. That doesn't look right. But I still have to prove something. It'd be 295 could be a problem. Rook g5 looks like a very logical move here. So now I can go rook e5 next move. I also have bishop b2 still. This king is very iffy on e8 as well. Tough position to play for black. I suspect I suspect for a computer this is winning for black, but for a human, I suspect this is actually practically. Maybe not lost, but very difficult. Now I have rookie five to take the pawn. 
I also have Bishop B2, but I'm just going to take. Ah, shoot. I blundered Knight C3. Fudge. He missed it. He had Knight C3. Jeez. Okay, now I can also take everything. Just take another pawn. What is the count here? I have two bishops. I, I, have, I have a bishop and two pawns for a rook here. So, I mean, I don't think I can lose, but whether I can win is sort of very much up in, up in the air. I'm trying to go to G7. I guess I'll just go here. I'm just going to start running the A pawn. That's my idea. Very simple play. I think I'm going to win this game. I think practically it's too hard for black to play. He has queen d1. I do have to be careful how I do this. Queen d1, king issue, knight e4. So, oh wait, he's also got knight e4 right away. So wait a second. Okay, let's just go. Wait, I also have, wait, I also have queen a7. Wait a second. There are all kinds of tricks here. Wait a second. Go here. Wait, what? <laughs> Checkmate. Okay, the point behind queen a7 is that I also lined this up. So it's a very tricky move uh, to create the double threat. Like, rook h7 loses to bishop a3 because now the queen guards everything. Um, But I'm kind of curious, how lost was this here? This is... Wait, I'm okay here? Oh, I'm actually completely fine. So this is another game with a sack where I actually assumed I was in trouble. But I'm actually completely fine. Computer says zeros. Huh. Huh. Okay, now I'm really confused. Thank you, Curry HC. Thank you so much. Thank you to Mark. Thank you to Thin Red Line. That seems to be the theme of the day. Every time I make a sack, it's actually okay. But I assume it's not. Hmm. My name my name is Michael Tal, yeah. Huh. And now it's just yeah, now it's just bad. Oh, strange. Very strange. Hmm. Alright, let's see what else is going on. So let's watch uh, Joe Bob. He's playing Dennis Lasnichka, and he is actually just winning all whoa, whoa, whoa. Everything's hanging. Rook C5, whoa, everything's hanging. I think it is Sayos for the five months. Alright, so that's okay, so Joe Bob is gonna have a perfect score. Really, the question is how many people are on um, are on uh, on the have getting up. My name is Michael. I just need to change my last name to Tal. Yeah, yeah. No, that game I I didn't sack intentionally, but I kind of had to sack. Okay, White has the wall, the great wall here of five five pawns. I mean, like this, just losing. King e five, d four, d five. Just run the pawns. Um. Why am I moving back to Florida? I spoke about it yesterday for there are a few reasons. Uh, just G five H six, of course. Um, Michael Towel? No, it's Michael Tal. Oh, by the way, I have a picture, you guys. Here's a picture for 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 uh, for 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 the, for the memes. Here's a picture. Speaking of our uh, speaking of our good friend. Um, speaking of our good friend. Let me let me find you guys a good old picture. Okay, here here's a picture. Here's a picture you guys are gonna like. Here we go, you guys. Let me change the scene. Now, this is what we're talking. Oh, sorry. I, I need to make this a little bit smaller. This is what we're talking about, you guys. Now, this, my friends, is what we're talking about. So, look, look, he, you're even allowed to smoke. You're even allowed to smoke at the board here. He's like smoking a cigarette at the board. And this is apparently Yasser here back when. Is that a wig? <laughs> is that a wig? Okay, you guys, that is, that's not a, uh, that's, that's not a wig, but very funny. Very funny. Very funny. Good one, you guys. Good ones. You, you, you have to realize this is probably like 50 years ago. Probably 50. By the way, look at these clocks. I mean, how ridiculous are these clocks even? Just crazy. Look at, look at these clocks. I mean, what, what is this? What is this? Um, I, I did play with an analog, analog clock. Yeah, I did. So, um, I, I have played with an analog clock, but anyway, let's, uh, let's go back to the, the main scene. Here we go. Um, I yeah, think it was Zyber Bob for the five months. So yeah, the other person was Karpov, by the way. Other person was Karpov. Yeah, that was new tech back then. Yeah, I, I mean, I played with analog clocks until I was probably about twelve years old. I would say eleven to twelve years old. But I never played. There was I never played any games where someone at the board was smoking. I never had to deal with that. At least, um, I never had. To, I never had to deal with that. Luckily, um. 
But even even my stepfather, he he's he said plenty he's told me plenty of stories where like he would play at open tournament and basically if someone got into a bad position against him, they would start smoking, they'd like blow the smoke right in his face. It's like right in his face like that. So apparently it really was a thing back in the old days that <laughs> you actually would do stuff like that. You you'd basically just like you would just like you would smoke the board and blow. <laughs> That's disgusting. Yeah. Chess, wow. Chess was a gangster sport. Yeah. No. I mean, I, I even heard about stories where people, when they were playing for money and blitz games, they would do the same thing. They they would just start they start smoking. Ran, if the position started getting complicated, they just start smoking more and more and try to. Tr and then you like you couldn't see the board even. Okay, we're playing Ari in here. Uh, I'm gonna go B three this time. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm again also at this point at this point just to be clear you guys I'm, I'm basically playing a lot of stuff that I don't normally play um uh, because I can't really play my main openings uh for, for for obvious reasons so we'll see we'll see if I can make it work with these sorts of dubious openings for the next couple of weeks before uh before I play in Berlin hopefully I can but you know obviously we'll, we'll see Copium, no. I mean, I think I think they're good enough on average, but uh, it, it is it is tough. So I'm gonna go D4 here. I don't even know if D4 is right, so I'll take and take. Am I am I uh, concerned that the uh, the candidate cycle could be disrupted by geopolitical developments? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, honest honestly, I don't think so. I, I I don't think so. But you never know. You never know. Let's just play standard chess. Uh, okay, I guess I castle this stop bishop before C4. Now he's put now with less peace on the board again. I think knight c3 to go knight a4 is still the correct approach. Knight d2 is a move for sure. Uh knight d7 is an interesting choice by Aryan. Hmm. I guess I'll just go rook d1. I mean, I still have knight a4 at some point or rook c1. I also have e4, e5 somewhere. I guess I'll take. He'll take. I'll go. Oh, what? What am I? I guess I'll go e4. I mean, maybe I should just play e4 right away, but okay, we'll see. Here, takes, 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 and I think I'm I'm in great shape. Oh, he does play d4. Oh, he's got e5 here. Wait. I'll go here and rook c1 maybe. I thought I had bishop a3, but he had bishop e7 there, which is kind of a mistake by me. Maybe I even can play f4 to chop the structure a little bit here, too. But yeah, so anyway, though, in the old days, so smoking was very commonplace, just so, you, just so you guys are aware. I mean, it was just, it was like normal. Let's go here. I plop the pony. Oh, he put the other rook. I thought he was going to... Oh, I thought I was going to put the other rook there, but anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm apparently stupid. And I do have f4. I do have queen g4. Queen g4 is kind of an interesting move here. Bishop a3, he just trades, I guess. I mean, I kind of want to go g3, h4, and expand. I'm obviously better, but it's not... It's not a clear better. It's not the better that I want. I, I kind of need to expand somehow. Maybe queen g4 is a move. My instinct says queen g4 is the right move here. I don't really know why. Again, I haven't been trusting my instincts so far, so now I'm going to start trusting my instincts. I'm really unconvinced that Queen G, about Queen G4, but it seems like a reasonable uh, attempt. Now I tr now wait. If I go Bishop A3, trade, 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 H4. How how clear is that? H4. I'm gonna assume that this is actually good for me, so I'm gonna go for it. I don't actually know if this is good for me. Oh, and I just blundered. I just blundered. He has queen c2. This is queen c2, and I feel like a moron. I take, I take, and he's... Queen c2, and he's a back rank mate. I really just do that? Ugh. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so now I have to reset and somehow try to win this game. I thought I could take, but and take, but he has Queen C2 and he has a back rank made on made on B1. It was Queen C6. Yeah, now I mean I've completely thrown this away. Now it's gonna be very hard to win. Probably I can't even win this game anymore. Let's go here. Phase H6, which I feel like is a little bit wrong. You know, the thing is, how do I keep playing? Because, I mean, somehow I have to keep playing this game. I'll go here. So, if he takes, I take. I have to try to keep putting pressure on him now. Is King G8? Oh, King G8, I have a trick, maybe. Maybe I can take, take, and take. I have a great knight on D5. I think it's a bing, bing, bong for the uh, gifted sub. Thanks so much, bing versus... Bing versus... Bing versus bong? Bong? I'm just gonna keep going with G4, keep trying to attack here. His knight B6, which of course I forgot was a move. I do have H5 maybe. I've misplayed this, but maybe. Um... So he takes, I take, and I right triangle him. I do have h6. I can also take. I'm going to go here. I'm trying to get really tricky. So I have h6 and queen f6. I'm trying to be really, really tricky. It was an IT7, which I think is a good move, although... I'd have six, wait. Wait, this is a blunder, but I have to be careful. I have to be very precise. Um, no, and no, I'm just winning, I think. Check and take. Let's do a tickle. Or no, I tickle this way and I get bishop b5. Yeah, there we go. Tough game. Tough, tough game, but we got the win. Thank you to swim for the 25 months. Appreciate it. Basically, what I missed, you guys, when I went into this end game is I forgot that after rook, rook c8 here, I thought I could just trade and take. Because if he takes, my whole point was that this end game should be better. Apparently, it's not better, but I thought it was very good. Um, but after I take, he has queen c2. And now he's a stupid back rank checkmate on b1. So I have to play h3. He takes, and now the queen covers c8. And black is probably just winning here. So that was what I miscalculated. But luckily, luckily I saw it in time. Thank you, Karen Axelot, for the two months. Swolfer for the prime. Why did it change the time for Title Tuesday? Um, Because there are two Title Tuesdays. That's why. That's the reason. Yeah, there, there's like Noterbeck, Yakubov, Noterbeck, Abdus Torov. There's also, um, there's also, uh, there's that other junior, uh, not Vokadov, um, Sindarov, of Javakir Sindarov, who's also very, very good. So yeah, there are a bunch of bunch of people who are strong. Uh Svid, no, I won't be playing uh playing Grishuk. Z Kid also on seven. So okay, so basically there's nobody on six and a half. So basically, this is where so I'm still in it if I if I keep winning. I just have to keep winning games here. That's it. Uh so that you can get tilted twice in a day. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. That's the reason they have two. Is they there it's 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 a way to try to induce me to like get really angry and and like break my desk. And get 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 our chess to, to have a field day with it. That's why that's actually the real reason chess.com has two title Tuesdays. Um that's that's the real reason. No shot at 2000. I think I'm like 1840 right now. Okay, so you get round like, again. The thing is I can't play for draws here, so I have to play garbage and hope that it works. Flying or driving back to Florida. Well, I this morning I packed up my car and I I, I, I started up the AI and we'll see if my car gets back to Florida safe and sound. Um Okay, I have to do something bunky. I mean, I have to win. Draws aren't good enough with two guys on seven, I don't think. Um, so yeah. Okay, plays e4. I mean, I guess I'm just gonna play traditional here. Because uh, draws aren't good enough here, yeah. 
Yeah, I packed up my car and uh, turned it on and it's driving itself back to Florida. So I'm going to go B5, Bishop B7 here. I uh, know it's a Honda Civic, you guys, but I have my proprietary technology that, that I've worked on over the last couple of years and it's um, it's driving itself back to Florida. So hopefully everything goes as planned. Play E6 here. I can play Knight D7, Knight B6 next move. <laughs> Um, yeah, okay, let's keep going. I'm gonna play an IV6 here. My Honda Civic doesn't, my Honda Civic doesn't do that, WTF. Well, I mean, again, you guys. Proprietary tech equals on a flatbed being shipped. No, it's not on a flatbed, actually, but, but good one. <laughs> um, yeah, good one. Oh, wait, it's my move, sorry. Okay, let's go here. Let's not lose our mind. Okay, play G3, which is kind of interesting. I can play E5, I can play D5. I don't actually know what the right approach is. I mean, D5 feels right here with some kind of B4, maybe. C5 also seems pretty reasonable, but he has Queen D6. I'm gonna play C5 here. It's a little bit risky for sure, but I think I'm okay. I have to go over something a little bit more on the gamble side here, because again, I need to win this game. Well, maybe what I did is just terrible, honestly. We'll see. He does have E5 or something. I pre-move this and... Nah. Takes so a take. No, he does play E5 here, which I saw. But I thought I had 19... No, I just misplayed this. Some... Or wait, no, I have 97... Knight e4. Now I can take the pawn. I can also take the knight first. My instinct is I take e5, but I need to be very careful. Because again, if... Okay, I'm going to trust my instinct that this is right. Everything is kind of guarded, I think. He does have f4, but I go to c7. I think I'm okay here. I'm either completely fine and probably just much better, out, perhaps outright winning, or I'm in real, real deep trouble here because of some tactic. He goes f4, so I have to go here, so otherwise he gets knight d6, and I just get absolutely squashed like a bug. And now I do have bishop d5, I also have knight d5. I think I'm okay here. To c4, I just trade take, and I mean, then his king is wide open. I can still castle if I need to. Okay, now I'm definitely better, I just have to prove it. B4 seems like a very solid approach. No, it's not right. Um, guess I'm gonna. Yeah, wait a second. Okay, I need to think. Castle's kingside allows G4. That should be winning for me, but that's a little bit airy. So I'm gonna castle queenside. It was queen f2, which I think is also a mistake. I have f5 and knight c3, I think. Takes, takes. f5 is a move. f5, knight c5, knight c5, f5, knight c5, takes, knight c3, king c1. Rook d1, rook d1, knight d1, bishop b7, king b8. King d1, queen d... king d1, queen d7. Queen d4, rook d8, knight e, rook d8, that should be winning. You see one. Wait, f5, knight c5, knight c5, bishop d5, though. Wait. I just gotta trust my instinct. Why am I thinking so long? Let's just take. I think f5 was winning, but I. Eh. It takes, okay. I just go here. I mean, this has to be winning now. I just trade and go like c4. Here. Still much better, but I, I should have played this move quicker. Oh, pre-moves is a safe pre-move. You get a big X for a 30 thing, you scam us for the prime. I mean it's it's three plus uh it's three plus one, so there is increment. There's knight c3, that's a strange move. Go here. Okay, I mean, this isn't what I want, but I think I'm okay. 
I'm up a pawn. Time is evening out. It's got weaknesses around the king. I mean, long term, I have to be better. Here. F6 or F5? This is right. What am I doing? I just have to make moves. Thank you. Appreciate it. Got to move. Okay, I should win this game. He's got no good moves now. Ah, oh, blunder shoot. Yes. Tough game, another win, very tough game. Thank you, Doc Education, for the 16 months. Whew, tough game, very, very tough game. But we find a way to win, get the dub. Move to seven out of eight. Um, trying to climb the leaderboard, still half point out of first place, but we are getting getting back um, back to where we're close. I probably had some way to win. I mean, I, I don't know exactly. It was always a little bit messy. I mean, it's already much better, but somewhere around here. Oh, wait, 95 is a huge blunder? What? Oh, I'm so, so bad at chess. He played, oh, I'm so bad at chess. He is queen c3. Oh, I'm so bad at chess. Oh, I'm so bad. So if I castle here, I'm better. Ah, oh, I am so bad at chess. And now it's already a draw here, but he blunders. King a3 is a draw. Wow. Crazy, crazy game. All right, we do get the dub. Uh, so we do move to seven out of eight points, which means it is time for, I think, our first real break. Thank you, Twitch guy, for the eight. Thank you, FSF, IFA, for the two months. Um, okay, so I think we have another break here, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see what's happening. All the games are over. Um... Well, maybe not all the games, but anyway, we're tied for third place right now. One, two, three, four, five people on seven. Shield on seven and a half. Zeke on seven and a half. Going to take a break, and we'll come right back and keep rolling right along. Oh, my game started. Oh, wait. My game started. Wait. Okay, let's go here. Oh, wait. My game started. Okay, sorry. Go back. Okay, let me close that. Okay. Play here. Oh, shoot. I'm down on time. Shoot. Okay, let's go here. Same, same, same thing I had against uh, Joe Baba. Oh, am I getting the same position? Is he gonna play a4 here? No, he doesn't. A4, B, A4 was my game against Jobaba earlier. Okay, got it. Got it. Even up the time here. I think a big bozer for the prime. Now I can play knight e5 here and trade. It's an obvious choice. Um, let's pre-move it. He's gonna go bishop g6 almost for sure. But it's not a take. I mean, F4 is all, always a move. Do I want to play a Bond Cloud? Let's pl uh, I mean, I this is such an important game. We're so late in the terms that I shouldn't really meme. But let's meme. Let's meme. We're going to meme with C5. We're going to meme and we're going to play a Bond Cloud. He's going to go Knight G4. We're going to get a Bond Cloud.
Control yourself? No, I, I don't want to control myself. In the spirit of Nepo, yeah, in the spirit of Nepo, I'm gonna I'm gonna just like go insane in this game. Okay, it does go B6, which is interesting. So he gives up a pawn here um on B6. Is this actually I mean I don't think he's I actually don't think this is good. Take. I, I don't believe him somehow. I actually just don't believe my opponent here. Maybe I'm insane, but I don't believe him. I mean, I still haven't castled, which is kind of a big problem, but... But time is evened out, so it's, it's already improved. Now, the thing is, I do have knight f1 here, which I think he missed. Um, But is it the best move or not? I mean, he has queen h3, queen e2... I mean, my instinct is to play king e2 and play a true bond cloud. That's just my instinct. Yeah, fudge it. Let's let's just try. Let's just play a bond cloud for the memes. For the memes. For the memes, we're gonna play a bond cloud. It's probably not very good, but we're gonna do it for the memes. I mean, at e5, I can even just okay it goes there. I mean, my assumption is I have to go here to keep an eye on everything, kind of. Again, very quiet. I mean, he has rook b8 here. This this probably is garbage, but. Uh, yeah. I can't believe I'm doing... I mean, if this was, like, round one, it's one thing, but this is, like, round round nine when, like, I'm trying to play for first place. I'm, play, I'm playing very, very on the edge. Hey, Raspberry for the five bucks. So, like, this is not... Okay. If I want... I think the Rook on B8 has to be worse. The Rook's on C8. It's on an open file. The Rook does nothing on this file. So the Rook is misplaced. Oh, really? Interesting. Wait. Wait a second. We said... Now, I guess I just go... Wait, I... Is he going to sack two juicers, like, knight e3 and bishop f4 and hope that he can check me? This doesn't look right at all. Wait, no, this isn't right. He's completely lost his mind. I have bishop a6. Oh, he can go bishop d6, I guess. Okay. I have h3 or just knight f3. But I'm not buying this. I think I'm actually completely fine somehow. Once I get the rook stacked, I'm actually, I mean, I'm actually, if I can even kick the knight, I should just be winning almost. Wait, no, he has a trick. Actually, that wasn't the trick I was expecting. I think he had queen e7 there too, but okay. Wait a second, but if I take and go rook c3, I'm just up. Wait a second, wait a second. Don't blunder this. Bc4 is not the move. Bishop c4 looks right. Still very tricky to play, but I have h3 maybe. Yeah, queen b6 I expected. I, oh, I've got knight d2. Yes. Yes. That's the move. Or is it the move? No, queen b7, I have queen c6. Yes, that is the move. That is that is the that is the move. Now I can actually sack, but you know what? Um, do I want to take and play h3? I mean, that's two rooks and two rooks plus. Instinct is that that's winning, but, uh, queen b7. Okay, but I also trade rooks. No, I mean, this has to be good. So I can trade a, I trade a stack of rooks. Trade a stack and play rook g1. Check, yeah, I block. Knight e3, I just take. I should be winning here. If I get one more move, I get rook c1, I win the game. Take check, bishop f8, trade, bishop c1. I think I'm winning. Ah, I missed knight h2. Shoot. I completely missed that. Now it's, a, it's game on again. I'm it. H, I mean, I play anything else, I'm, I'm doing well. Now it's game on again. Oh, and I blundered a3 too. What the hell? What is wrong? Oh, I just threw this game so hard. Oh, this is very pathetic by me. Oh, I just threw this game. I just threw this game so hard. But I'm up 10 seconds, so I mean, maybe there's some hope.
I can also create a pass. Wait, I can create a pass pawn at the center of the board here. Yeah, I gotta create the pass pawn, I mean. Okay, now I should actually be winning here somehow. I'm gonna win this game, I think. Or am I away? A4 is maybe a good move. Don't really wanna trade. I'm gonna go for B4, maybe it's wrong. Shush. Sorry, but I mean, I'm, I'm trying to focus. I fudged, fudged us up. But now I, I mean, okay, it's game on again. Got the win. There we go. Thank you to Incroy for the 11 months. Thank you so much, Incroy. Um, <laughs> thank you, Incroy. Someone's gonna clip that too. Someone's gonna clip that too. Um, yeah. Thank you for th thank you so much. Yeah. Someone's gonna clip that too. <laughs> someone's gonna clip that. It's like shush, shush. Um, yeah. Okay. Anyway, we got the win. Move to uh, eight, eight out of nine. Um, <laughs> okay. Okay, we're tied for first with, with two rounds to go, you guys. Two rounds to go. Okay, round nine. Okay, now I'm tied for the lead, so I like I can actually dial it back here and not be too insane, I guess. But I still think I should be insane. It's the spirit of the game. Like I'm trying to play like a Michael Tal today, but F5 is a little bit too bold, probably. Let's let's try not to be like a Michael Tal. Let's play solid Nimzo Indian. It's a good solid rock solid opening. Thank you to N Rones for the prime. Thank you so much to N Rones. Okay, goes knight three. I'll play D5. Yeah, but Michael Tal is fun. Yeah, I've had a little bit too much fun. I think in, in the last couple of games. Oh, he's gonna play this one. Okay, let's take. Thank you to Weepy West for seven months. Let's go here. Here. I think H six is still correct with Queen E seven, as I recall. Hansen beat Nepo, yeah. It looked like Jan was... I, I don't know if Jan was memeing or what exactly he was doing. But he was taking some huge liberties and he paid a huge, huge price for it. That's my read. Is I, I think Jan... I, I, don't, I don't know if he was trolling or what he was doing. But I, I felt, it felt like Jan was really like trying hard to... Uh, trying really hard to... Um, to troll. If that makes sense. I, I know that makes sense. It's not taking anything away from Eric. Because obviously he played a great game. But I believe this is still okay for me. Not taking anything away from Eric, but yeah, I, I think I think Jan was just like memeing and trolling. Um okay, go C6, which I don't believe is right. I have B5 here. Wait, what did I think I had? Wait a second, what did I think I had here? Or did I just blunder? Wait, did I just actually blunder this? I don't think I did. I have bishop b7. Oh, right. Bishop b7, and it's... No, I did just blunder here. What the heck? Wait, what did I... I thought I could just take... I just blundered, actually. I just got really careless for one move and blundered. We go here... What am I even doing here? This is unbelievable. What did I just do? What the heck did I just do? I'm like at a loss for words. That's how confused I am about what I just did.
What did I just do? I'm so confused, suddenly. heck did I just do to this? I just blundered for no reason. I was supposed to just take the pawn. It was 95, which I think is actually a mistake. Maybe not a mistake, but maybe I have some small prayer. I have some small prayer with 94. If I get F6, I think I'm worse, but maybe I have some small prayer of a hope here. Gonna go F3 probably. I think I'm Nacho Libre for the five months. I was supposed to play Rook C8 and then C5 also, but. Okay, let's see. If I can kick the Knight and get this pawn off, I'm, I'm at least gonna have some drawing chances. Grishuk already drew his game, which is kind of weird actually. Pay attention to the clock, I have a buck 18, which should be enough time. So I take. So here I play f6 and rook c6. I mean, I think I'm going to be okay here. I don't know if I'm going to be okay, but I feel like I should be okay. Six rook f8 maybe. Okay, plays e3, which I think is actually a little bit questionable. Oh, actually, he just plays knight d3. Now, that I did not expect. That's actually very surprising. Wait, okay. I should be maybe okay here. I just have to think for a second. Oh, he's knight b4, which I missed now, too. But okay, I mean, I should be able to draw this with some correct play. Yeah, with some correct play, I should be able to draw this. It's not going to be easy to draw, but I'm... Okay. Guess I, I guess I go very precise. Wants to go rook b1. Maybe I go rook b6 and takes a5 b4 trade for rook a6 rook b1 f7 check. Here I'm gonna go king f6 and rook c2. Of course, I always have a5 later. This allows rook a6, I think. I've just got to move, though. I mean, I'm low on time. Okay. This is a bad move, too. Why did I do this? I just have to move quickly. There's g4. Now, that's a strange move, actually. Don't actually understand that move. I'm going to start activating my king here. I don't think that was a good move either. I should have gone to h7. Here. Oh, that's a terrible move. I just blundered. Shoot. I just threw the game. Actually, did I? Wait. Go here. Now I just threw it. Yeah, now I just threw it. Yeah, I just threw it, finally. Ah, frustrating. Ah. 
Oh, I hung this pawn too, shoot. I actually had a chance here too. Wait, no, he just blundered. Oh my God, he just blundered. Oh my God, he just blundered. Oh my gosh, I can't believe he just did that. I can't believe he just did that. He was zero, zero challenger for the eight months. I can't believe he just did that. I can't believe he did that. That's insane. Insane. Okay, so this is obviously all lost. I just want to see... Somewhere around here, I was close to drawing this endgame. Not here. I was always, always still bad. Uh, rook a6, rook c3, e5 is the correct setup. Like this, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, he played that endgame really well. He did. I mean, once he got the two pawns, I, th I think he played it really well. But then he got careless. Like, right around here, first rook e6 was winning. But then he also... I mean, king e2 was brilliant by him. Because he knew he could run the pawns up the board. And then... And then, yeah, it's still fine, but he allowed this, and now, I mean, still winning, just rookie eight, rookie eight. It goes here, it's still winning. Still winning. I guess the engine stopped working. Yeah, and I mean, this just, <laughs> I mean, ugh. rook g2 just wins. Ah, ah, gross, whatever, it's it, whatever, whatever. It's a draw. We take those. I mean, I guess we take those because I'm only half point back of Jobaba. But the one good thing is in the last round, if Jobaba draws this game and I win, I think I might actually get ahead of him on tie breaks because it's only two points. I, I think I've seen it. If it's five or more, you never have a chance to come back. I should have lost. Of course, I should have. Um, But as I recall, if it's, if it's more than five, I've never seen someone come back. It's under five here. So I have some outside chance and I get a nice pairing. It's what? It's 4.75. Oh, no. It's five. Uh, it's 5.25. So probably I hope that I win and Jobaba loses this game. I think that's all there is to it. Yeah. Oh, wait. No, sorry. I don't have 55. Becca has 55. Never mind. So I'm actually, yeah, I probably don't win this either way. But maybe if I win and Becca wins, maybe. You never know. It's, it's only one point. It's one point differential. So maybe. But yeah, Jobaba has to lose or else I have no chance. So I'm going to go C4, B4 here. Joe Bob is playing Becca, so Becca goes all in, and I hope that Becca wins, basically. I don't know which square is right. I don't like this B6A5 here, honestly. It feels a little bit much. Um, let's just go E4. I don't know if it's right, but let's do it. He's going to play D5. I'll trade Knight E4 and Castles, and maybe it's good, maybe it's not good, but so be it. He was center since birth. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. I'm going to Castle. I put the pawn there, so... Let's go Queen C2. This pawn on a5 is really wrong, because there's always some knight b5 trick now. Can we get a market update? Um, what is the market doing? Market is down 1.5%. Jeez, what is wrong with the stock market? Now, I can play d5, because he put the pawn on a5. Knight b5 looks good, too. e5, no, I don't think it's right. Actually, knight b5 looks very good here. I'm going to do it. Okay, he goes queen seven. Now, the thing is, I do have e5 here. This is what I'm banking on. Take six, knight four, bishop e4. Let's go for it. Why not? He has to take, I take. Although he does have knight e8, which I missed. But okay, he does it, so I get bishop e4 now. So when he takes, I guard everything three times. Oh, no, he didn't just take. Oh, my God. What am I doing? Oh. Oh, did I really just do that? Okay. Let's reset. Uh, it's really not my day, though. I am actually just making some huge blunders now. Should have also traded on b7 first instead of leaving the queen on e7, but whatever. <sighs> it happens we're human, yeah. 
I mean, I think I can still draw the game. I think I can probably draw this, but... I mean, I need to win. If I was on 9 out of 10, a draw would be bad, but, I mean, there's still some hope. But a draw here it means I definitely don't, don't win the event. I just can't believe I hung that pawn. Oh, so poor. So take with the queen. He's got knight f3, but, I mean... Here, my knight is better than his rook. That's one thing. My knight is pretty good here. So here, should have played rook b1 first, but okay. Right, I'm just gonna play rook d8 and try to draw the game. There's just nothing I can really do here. Wait, I do have rook b. Wait, I do have rook b1 maybe. I can also just go rook f1. Also, wait. Let's go rook f1. How's he guarding the pawn actually? I mean, if he goes rook b8, he's still guarding the pawn, but... So maybe some small hope here. If he goes rook b8 and gets passive, I think there's a, some small hope that I might be able to swindle him. Okay, he does it, so I'm going to go g3 now. Queen e8. Yeah, he's trying to complicate. Er, I'm trying to find some way to play this. Queen c7, queen d8, queen a7, rook a8. There's got to be some way to complicate this. 7, queen d8. <laughs> Thank you. I have to go here. Plays e5, which I think it's not a mistake. It kind of is a mistake, actually. Okay. Five. How do I do this? I have to somehow... Okay, I think I go here and I get the knight to d5. This is how I have to play this. It's the only chance I have here. I think it's a safe pre-move too. Still not great, but I mean, maybe I have some chances. It's the only... Oh, man, he found b5, really? That is really annoying. Here I have to take with the queen, I guess. Yeah, I can't win this now. It's going to be... What?! What was that? Oh, uh, this is sick, too. This is actually still going to be a draw. Oh, this is actually just really sick. He blundered, but he didn't blunder, kind of. Okay. Um. Yeah, like, he, he blundered, but he didn't blunder. This is really sick. This is still a draw with correct play, but now at least we play. I think you do it in post-to-gob post kebab. We play, though. I mean, we play. We play, so. Five, we can play... I just have to find some way to keep the game going long enough that I can flag him. That's the only hope I have here. Here. Just have to somehow keep this game going long enough to where there are chances to, to, to flag him or something. Go here now, because otherwise he gets g5, g4, and I lose. Okay, but now I go queen e2... E3. Now that strikes me as a strange move. Not a bad move necessarily. But I have to come up with something here. Let's go. I've got to move. I've got to move. That's a mistake by him.
How do I win this stupid game? <sighs> like no way to win this, it's very annoying. <sighs> Jeez. Oh, I won a time. Oh my gosh, he flagged. Jeez, I didn't even realize that. Okay. <sighs> I win the game, but Joe Bob is still playing. Jeez. Okay, Joe Bob is going to win. Okay, I'm going to get second, but oh man. Okay, I mean, I, I can't complain. That's, that's still a good finish. Oh, jeez. I mean, the thing is that the one trick I have, or no, I don't even have my trick. There's still a draw. How am I so lucky? Uh, yes, uh, as there's a certain prominent commentator slash streamer who would say I'm the luckiest SOB ever. So I will leave you guys with that.